Shalom. I want to begin this lesson by giving all praises, glory, and honor to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Asha, Bahashem Rakakwadash. The true name for the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, who is what ignorantly calls God. The true name for His only begotten Son is Yahweh Shai, who is what ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, Bahashem in the name, and Rakakwadash is through the Holy Spirit. I also want to give them honors to my teachers, the apostles and elders, the great millstone that rule well. And peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. I am the brother Yoanathan, coming from the Great Millstone West Palm Beach Church. And Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. And I just want to make um, a lesson just going into this article that I've seen dealing with the bricks. And now we're living in a time period where a lot of information, not only just information, but a lot of news is being brought to the forefront to the point where a, even the elder apostle uh, Tahar mentioned if you miss a day, you're missing a lot. All right. And one thing which is not being spoken upon as it really should is the BRICS. BRICS being an acronym for Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa. All right. And uh, about a month ago, I remember making a lesson and reading an article about uh, BRICS and how they want to de-dollarize or uh, the bricks are, uh, you know, trying to de-dollarize or de-dollarization, de okay? And I believe, and I'm not sure if this news is or if this information is accurate, Lord willing, I'm going to fact check it, but the cost of one brick, you know, would ultimately plunge the, the dollar, okay? Because the, brick, the bricks currency will be backed by gold, if I'm not mistaken, or some sort of of a of, of value of, or, or, or valuable, um, you know, something valuable behind it, which is different from the dollar. All right. So enough of me rambling. All right. So I have the article here. And through the Holy Spirit, this all leads to the MOTB. And uh, MOTB is an acronym for the Mark of the Beast. All right. Going back to the book of Revelation, the 13th chapter and the 16th verse. So the title of the article says Bricks Pay uh, Alliance officially unveils new payment system. OK, and it says in what a massive moment for the economic alliance, Bricks Pay has officially been unveiled at the Bricks Business Forum taking place in Moscow. Participants receive brand new cards for the long awaited payment system. OK, now. When you look at these cards, right, what do you see? You see the QR code and that's how, you know, this is all going to this is all linked with the Karagma. All right, because ultimately, again, when you go into that book of when you go to the book of Revelation, the 13th chapter, and let me grab it real quick and the 16th verse. OK, it speaks about a mark. All right. And that mark is not talking about the mark in the book of Ezekiel, the ninth chapter. All right. That mark is talking about the wah, which is the mark of exemption. And the mark, which is in the book of Revelation, the 13th chapter and the 16th verse. When you look at it, it goes back into the Greek word uh, karagma. All right. So Revelation chapter th uh, 13, verse 16, and it reads, and he caused it all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. OK, so that mark again, we understand that mark, which is Karagma going into an incision inside of the flesh. OK, Esau Edom is going to make the M, um, the RFID microchip mandatory upon the planet Earth. All right. Well, everything is going to become digital. There will be no more cash. There will no be there will not be any more credit cards, debit cards. That's going to be a way of the old and all cash or any type of currency will be a, will be on those mark. I mean, like will be on them RFID chips. OK, you even had Aaron Russo. Which was an insider, close friends with Nick Rockefeller A Nick Rockefeller gave that information to him as well as William Cooper. Um, as well as, um, you know, all these dudes that speak upon these things, they end up giving up the ghost or they end up, you know, 
going, you know, they end up dying. All right. So that's how, you know, Esau eat them. You know, this is information that was not supposed to be revealed. All right. But the scriptures speak about how the man of sin, the son of perdition will be revealed in a lot of times. And we're in those times right now. OK, that's why the Apostle Paul, when you go into the book of Romans, the 13th chapter and the 11th verse, and it reads in that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than we believe. So knowing the time that we're in, and even in the book of Second Ezra, the ninth chapter, it says to measure thy the time diligently in itself, man. Okay. So the hopeful elect are measuring the times. Even Yahweh Shah warned the disciples, which turned to the apostles. All right. Yahweh Shah warned them of things to come. All right. And those things to come are playing out in our face right now. So we know the time. All right. So knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. You see. Uh, Isaiah, the 60th chapter, arise and shine for thy light is come. OK. Uh, hey, our salvation is nearer than we believe. And how do we know that? Hey, these prophecies are coming to pass. That's why the book of Habakkuk, the second chapter, Habakkuk, chapter two, verse three, for the vision is yet for an appointed time. But at the end, it shall speak. See, so knowing the time, all right, understanding the time that we're in, you know, at the end is speaking. How is it speaking through the prophecies? And it says, it says, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it because it will surely come. It will not tarry. All right. So this is why we have to stay patient upon our watch. Stay patient upon the Lord. All right. Stay upon our watch. Stay upon our post. Continue to be watchmen, continue to be patient, all right, because before you know it, hey, everything is going to change, all right, so, um, you know, now that, again, this is, and as, as you can see right here, that's the card, but best believe everything will become digital, see, even on the card it says, this is a mock-up of a bank card that can be linked in the BRICS Pay to receive a gift of 500 rubies credit to your BRICS Pay account. So a mock is kind of like a precursor or more so uh, it's still in development. It's still in works. OK. Now. Um, let me see. Because I do want to get that article just dealing with the bricks and the de-dollarization. All right. Because this is the main goal of these different nations teaming up with each other. It's ultimately to bring down Babylon. All right. Hey, the scriptures speak about hey, the weak shall say I am strong. So there was a point of time and I'm going to grab that. So there was a point of time where America... And when you think about it, you know, Babylon is still at the top concerning with the sword, meaning instruments of destruction. So America is still at the top dealing with the armies and the military. OK, but when you look at the morality, you know, Babylon is, is low and these different nations are mad because they have drunk the wine of the whore. OK, as the scriptures say. So there was a point in time where. All right. America was the top power and all the nations had no choice but to join them. All right. But we're in a time now where the weak, OK, the weak are saying that they're strong and they're teaming up with these different nations, i.e. the BRICS, OK, to come together to take down the bully. All right. Joel chapter three, verse 10. And it says, beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say. I am strong. OK. And it says, assemble yourselves and come all ye heathen and gather yourselves round about. Thither cause thy mighty ones to calm down. Oh, Yahweh Bashma Shah. All right. So let me get this. Let me get this article. I brought this. I could find it.
Abrata Zod comes up. Because I know the Watcher. There it goes. Mm -hmm. I know the Watcher, Dog Guru. They often go into things like these. See? And these are all, look at these, these are all topics which a lot of people are not even speaking about anymore, right? So, BRIC, Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia likely to ditch the U.S. dollar in oil trade, which they have done that. And it says opt, opt for the, the, uh, the, the yarn. And I know I'm, I said it wrong, All right, but hey, China is in the BRICS, you see? Bricks to fully abandon U.S. dollar in three years. All right. And Babylon doesn't have three years, man. Things are moving so fast. You know, you'll be surprised by the year two. If, hey, we'll be surprised in the next few months in January if Esau Edom doesn't come down with that great wrath, man. OK. Bricks target yet another sector to eliminate the U.S. dollar. All right. So that's the main goal of the bricks. And I'm going to click this article because. When you go into the book of Jeremiah, the 51st chapter, which we will go into, all right, it speaks about fanners, how the Yahweh Shemashah will send fanners, okay? And those fanners are going to come in the form of, you know, things which are going to take this place down, all right? And best believe when the bricks come into effect, you will experience hyperinflation here in America, all right? And all roads leads to the chip. And this may sound far-fetched. But again, hey, this mystery, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding has been only given to the initiated ones, man. And that's where you're going to have Ezekiel, the 33rd chapter, coming into effect. Then, then shall they know a prophet had been among them. All right. So our people really don't take this serious because it doesn't affect them. OK, but when you go into the grocery store and a gas station, all right, and you realize the money which you work for. Not only is it not stable, but it's not accumulating to anything. Then you're going to have questions. All right. But we understand that all these things have to come to pass. All right. Second Ezra is the fourth chapter. You know, we understand that America has to go down. We understand that all hell has to break loose, man. We have to un we have we understand that many sorrows have to come in order for our kingdom be to be established, man. All right. The evil is sown is America. All right. So it says the BRICS economic alliance has targeted yet another sector to eliminate the U.S. dollar. The grouping has targeted the greenback and sought to lessen international reliance on the currency. Its latest plans introduce another industry that could be massively affected by those goals. All right. So. BRICS sanctions turning Chinese uh, yuan as main currency, not the U.S. dollar. So the main goal is to kind of move the dollar in America out the way. OK, that's why you have China and Russia in cahoots. You have Saudi Arabia and China in cahoots, man. OK, the main goal is to knock the dollar out the way. All right. Uh, let's I'm going to type in de-dollarization and let's see if they took down this article, man, because I made a lesson on it not too long ago, but I'm sure they probably took the article down. OK. Oh, look at this. October 4th, total U.S. debt has jumped to thirty five point seven trillion, stressing the U.S. dollar. Right. All right. And the reason why there's so much debt. OK, it's because Babylon went in cahoots with the elite banking families. OK, America went in, into cahoots with the elite banking families, instituting the Federal Reserve, which uh, I believe was created in 1913. OK, and if I'm wrong, let me let me fact check that real quick.
Yep, December 23rd, 1913. All right, and let's look up when... All right, and I'm trying to get to a point here, you see, because when the Federal Reserve was created, uh, well, let's let's look when Babylon ditched, when Babylon stopped having the dollar being backed by gold. See, so that's edifying. So uh, 1933, President Roosevelt conf confiscated all privately held gold in the U.S. During the Great, Depe uh, the Great Depression, the U.S. remained on a quasi gold standard until 1971. OK, so until 1971, uh, you know, the dollar was backed by gold. And that's what makes money have value. OK, because if you do not have if you don't have it, but you're lending, that lessens the quality of it. It lessens the value of it. OK, so 1971, President Nixon ended the gold standard and converted the U.S. dollar into a fiat currency, which you see today. OK, so it says today the U.S. dollar is backed by the government's ability to generate revenue and its authority to require economic participants to use the U.S. dollar, all right, which has totally backfired, you see, because now you have U.S. debt up to $35.7 trillion, man, okay? So how much more until hey, this dollar is worthless, man, all right? And then you have these different nations teaming up together, man, you see? So, again... Since Babylon has winning cahoots with the Federal Reserve and the elite banking families, all right. Ever since Babylon has done has done this, it's just lessened. All right, it has lessened the the, uh, the the value. Okay, and this is why again you will experience hyperinflation here in America. Let's go to the book of Jeremiah. Jeremiah. Chapter 51, starting at the top, thus saith the Lord, behold, I will raise up against Babylon. All right. And this is not talking about ancient Babylon. This is talking about America. All right. Babylon the great. And it says, thus saith the Lord, behold, I will raise up against Babylon and against them that dwell in the midst of them that rise up against me a destroying wind. All right. Now, this, that destroying wind is talking about the ICBM nuclear missiles. All right. You, you can also even go into the book of Revelation, the seventh chapter, a which confirms it. OK. And it says, and I will send unto Babylon fanners that shall fan her and shall empty her land. You see, so those fanners are going to be exactly what a breaks this place down. OK. Those fanners are going to come into the form of what going to come in the form of hyperinflation, going to come in form to the said perils. That a the Lord has set, you know. So this is what's getting ready to come down the pipeline. All right. So that's why a beginning with, you know, the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and even brothers down, it, it will behoove you. All right. It will behoove you to take this serious. All right. And not only just to take this serious, but to really meditate what's getting ready to happen on the planet earth man where if you do not have this wisdom and knowledge of this bible you will truly be unstable okay because you're supposed to make your foundation in the lord you're supposed to make yahweh bashamal shah your habitation your refuge your you you know you're supposed to make the lord all these things man but esau edom has tricked the masses to believe that money can save you a hey, scripture speak about how riches profit not in the day of wrath, man. All right. Even the elite banking families. When you read the book of James. All right. I believe James, the fifth chapter. It says how the riches are cankered. Let's get that real quick. You see. So it's just something that I wanted to get out uh, through the spirit. James chapter five, verse one. 
Go go to now, ye rich men, weep and howl for your miseries that shall come upon you. Right. So these elite banking families really thought that their money is going to be able to save them. All right. But their pride is the reason why they're building bunkers. Their pride is the reason why they, they're even going to fight against our Lord. Yahweh Shah. OK, it says verse two, your riches are corrupted and your garments are moth eaten. Your gold and silver is cankered. And the rest of them shall be a witness against you and, sh and shall eat your flesh as it were fire. Ye have heaped treasure together for the last days. Right. So these elite banking families have so much gold. They have so much resources to the point where, you know, they can give some to, to hey, they can give some to everyone. And they will still have enough left. All right. But their greed. Their pride. That's why you have heaped treasure together in the last days. All right. And they would hey, they would not be able to they're not gonna be able to enjoy it. Okay, because again, this system, all right, is getting ready to come to an end. You see? So let's go into this article real quick and I'm gonna close this lesson. It says the US debt scenario seems to be inflating with each second or it's like which each it says the U.S. debt scenario seems to be inflating with each passing second. The debt statistics have ballooned like any other metric recently, adding significant stress to the already overloaded U.S. dollar. OK. And Abra Desai, you can go on his website, watch.guru. And there's a lot of edifying things, man. OK, so. You know, I'm going to leave it there. Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. But the point being what? The point being is, hey, BRICS is on the move. All right? So, and this all leads to the chip. This all leads to the RFID microchip, man. The mark of the beast. So, you know, until next time, Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. Giving all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Rekakudash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone. Everyone, peace, blessings to the elect. Till next time. Shalom.